All right, we are back with another D&D movie time. And today, since it's getting close to school, and since Core is going into the third grade, which is the foundation of a great education, we are going to be watching Problem Child 2. Yes! Now, what do you remember from the first Problem Child? I'm just going to say the end, because why not? Well, what happened at the end? So the problem child got a kidnapped. Junior? Junior got a kidnapped. The dad, I forgot his name it was. Ben. Ben saved the junior. Junior lose his problem child skills and beat it a bad guy. So did Ben. Yeah. Now this is actually a movie you've seen before. Do you remember Problem Child 2 at all? No. So you have no idea what's about to happen? No. Well, interesting story. <coughs> the grandmother you never got to meet, my biological mother, she actually took me once to the school where some of this movie was filmed because some of this movie was actually filmed in Florida where daddy's from yeah. so I've actually seen the hallways of this school well I wonder if they were like actually recording to Florida but you probably won't but you probably won't I mean I didn't get to see it while it was being filmed it was all after the fact but I have actually seen the location where this, some of this movie was filmed. Whoa. So. Maybe you might maybe be able to point out some more of your friends. Well, oh, I didn't. I didn't go to the school. I, my mother just made deliveries to the school. Because she used to deliver flowers and stuff, and sometimes people ordered flowers to be delivered to the school. Okay, for teachers and whatnot. Science. But are you ready to get into the movie? Yes, how Dickly Don and I do. Okay. We'll see you guys after we get done. Bye. Welcome to Mortville. Problem child, too. We can't even figure out what they did to that dog. <laughs> All right, so we just finished watching Problem Not Child, child two. 2. So, Cora, what was this movie about? Junior and Ben were moving out of town and starting a new life, starting a new story, I don't know. Call whatever you want it, but they were moving out of town, and um, he and Ben is trying to get it. Wait, no, that I'm skipping a couple scenes. Yeah, I'm skipping a couple scenes. Um, so Junior and Ben, Ben drops Junior out of school the hard way, and I guess. He is very strong because he literally pulled a chair out of a car. He literally pulled one of the chairs from the car out. And what grade was Junior going into? Well, he was supposed to go in third, but because the teacher, well, principal, which we actually saw in the first movie, and I guess he's like... I, I hate kids and I'm going to be a principal at a school. Be, so if I say the kids jump out a window, they jump out of that window. Yeah. And yeah, he's literally dumb person on all Because even... And now you know why Daddy always says that third grade is the foundation of a great education. I mean, like, even... I should, even a first grader should 
Oh, that jumping out window is dangerous. He was making a point that he has power over the kids. That they do whatever he says because he's the principal. Yeah, but like, if I was in that school, it's like, may I call my dad? Anyways, so what does he do to Junior? So he goes ahead, puts Junior. Instead of soul grade, he's not putting it down below. He's putting general at literal sixth sixth grade. Yeah, he bumped him up to sixth he's grade. He's literally skipping three grades up, and he's at six. Yeah, so that junior only has to be there the one year. <coughs> so what happens when junior goes into sixth grade? Bully, which get bullied in a scene, which I will not be only one. Junior out bullies the bully, huh? Yes, by two steps. Number one, find the bully. Number two, when the teacher is gone, grab literal bunch of tape and tape it, and tape that bully. To whatever wall. object that you can find. That's the wall. Right. Take them up to the wall. To a wall. How did Junior even manage to get the bully up on the wall is the question. He probably like slapped at him and taped at him up and then just slapped at him onto that wall. So has anything else happened while Junior's at the school? Uh, well, Junior's dad is a guest trying to make a business. And this lady wants to marry him because he looks handsome and other stuff. Wanda. Wanda. But what happens to Junior while he's at the school? Um. Why is it called Problem Child? Two, besides the fact it's a sequel. Because we got two problem childs. So who's the second one? A girl I uh, who forgot her name is Trixie. Trixie, which spoiler alert is actually a nice nurse's adorable. Yeah, I mean she probably wasn't adopted, but if she was, um. That father was probably really mean, and lucky for her, she got the child, and she ran away. Yeah. So, Trixie and Junior, they're butting heads, right? Yeah. So, yeah. the dad thinks that he's not doing a good enough job, so what does he do for Junior? Um, tries to go ahead and get a wife. Well, he takes him to a carnival. Yeah, and guess who we meet there? The bully and Trixie. Yeah. And guess what little problem child Junior does? He can't get on the ride? Yeah, he can't get on the ride. Why? Why? Because he's too short. He needs like to be an inch taller. Like, he had to be so close. The feels like... It's only a millimeter. Yeah, and um, for all the scenes, Trixie's small, but somehow Trixie got away by literally getting um, a, a bunch platform of shoes. Platform shoes. And uh, guess what Little Junior does? Well, well, Ben is away getting food. What? He makes everybody throw up by literally having the ride, the spinning ride, literally go super sane. It literally went so fast. Yeah. Like, it's like, it's like this. What'd you think of that scene? I was like, oh my god, I would literally cry until my dad stops that ride. You would have cried if it just went normal. <laughs> no. 
You've been on a lot slower rides. No. Maybe next time the carnival comes by, you'll be thankful for how slow it normally goes. And you'll be thinking, God, at least yeah, it's, go it's not going super fast like a problem child, too. <laughs> Making everybody barf. Did that scene gross you out? Yeah, plus I was actually kind of expecting that because I actually memorized it. Uh oh. Did you like the music that was playing during that scene? Yeah. And, uh, I wish I wouldn't have to say this, but it's the truth and probably for content. Everybody else that was on that ride, even the persons who wasn't because full because full up got all over the place. Yeah. Everybody literally flowed up because of it. It was like a barf fest. Hey, what's a barf fest? What's a barf fest? Everybody barfs. Wait, what? Barf? What was probably the grossest one? Probably the bully. Like, uh -huh. oh my god, he is literally so much of a big chungus. He is, I swear he's going to never stop throwing up. I thought the grossest one was when the two parents were puking on their little kid. I did not see that. I couldn't even tell what was going on there so weird. This was in the crowd after he barfed and every on all the people in the crowd. And then the par the parents were barfing on this little kid that was between them. That's rude. <laughs> Anyways, what happens after that scene? Um. Well, the why. Moanda. Well, Moanda goes ahead and um. Wow, they're at the carnival. She redecorates the house. Not touch the bottom, not touch the top, not touch the tables, not touch the beds, not touch the kitchen, not touch the living room. Okay, we get it. The literal entire house! Yeah. Well, at least the inside, but still. <laughs> the entire house! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyways, keep going. So, what happens? And, um... <coughs> Sit up. Mm. So, what happens? Does Junior do anything to mm. stop Wanda? Yeah. Uh, she got, he got, he, Junior goes ahead and put... A little wall on the welcome mat, or... That's not Luanda he does that to. That's just one of the dates he <laughs> sabotages. Oh, well. I forgot. That's she decides she's going to come by the next day and cook them dinner. Does Junior do anything to the dinner? Yep. What? Coach Roach Army! Yeah, he literally filled it with his literal 100 pit cockroaches. Yeah. It's like a army of cockroaches. And that kind of sets the dad on a path to definitely marry Luanda, right? Because mm -hmm. he feels so bad for what Junior did. So they're about to get married, but Junior does something else to try to stop the wedding. What does he do? Well, Ju well, she goes ahead and does plastic surgery. Well, he does a blood sample. A and blood sample? Switches Maybe. her blood sample with a rabid dog. Yeah, which I have no idea what type of creature that is. It's, it's a, a dog with a disease. Oh, I was like going to say, hang on, is it possible that a dog can be married to a, to a rabbit? What? No, a dog got sick and had this certain kind of disease called rabies, which can kill a person, and 
Junior switched the blood sample, so they thought that she had rabies. So they were, they took her into the hospital, but while they were in the hospital, what did Junior do? Well, Junior hears a conversation that somebody wants a long nose, and Junior gets the idea of switching the two papers. So clipboards. Clipboards, papers, the papers on clipboards are the same thing. And Wanda gets the long nose instead of, I don't know what the... Some other, guy named Gregory. I don't know what Gregory got. Not the one from Security Breach, by the way. Yeah, you never know. Maybe that's Gregory all grown up. If you watch a game theory, he doesn't grow up, he's a retro animatronic. Anyways, so what is Junior, so what happens while Lawanda's in the hospital? Wanda wakes up. No, I said while she's in the hospital with Junior and Ben. Quit playing with stuff. Sit proper. Don't they go out to dinner? Wes. And then they meet somebody? Uh-huh. Who? The little problem child, too. Trixie. And Aunt Trixie and her mom, the nurse, which I forgot her name, too. Annie. Annie. And did you recognize Annie? <laughs> and yeah, my dad actually pointed this out. Um, she's actually from Palmer Child One, Ben's wife. Which yeah. spoilers if you didn't watch number one. If you don't want to get spoiled, go watch number one. Anyways, what happens while they're having dinner with Annie and Trixie? Well the, well, the principal and his wife, I guess. They. They do, too, and. 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 Uh. Guess what the problem childs did? What? They started a food fight. Yeah. And. And, uh. Yeah, they basically got kicked out for that. Yep. And then what happens? Well, what is Junior's big idea? Uh, oh, try and make them married. And by the way, just in case if you're wondering, um, if the if the two power and tribes made actually we walked it together, yes, yes they do. They go and they make a wish at a love rock, right? Uh huh, and it walks. Yeah. Just for the walk of stopping a literal wedding. Well, alright, that's gonna wrap up our review of Problem Child 2. We're gonna take a quick break. When we get back, we will give our final score. Bye! For thousands of years, the world has been protected by the Guardian of Light, or as he is more commonly known, Santa Claus. Over the centuries, factors such as fear and prejudice, greed and jealousy, misunderstandings, betrayal and war have segregated most humans from the magical world of elves, fairies, wizards, and the like. This has resulted in many misconceptions and generalizations of the true nature of Santa and his world. This six-book series by Sean Connaughton begins as the current of a long series of guardians is murdered by a group of monstrous enemies recently escaped from an enchanted South Pole prison. These creatures are loyal to the darkness, an evil force determined to exterminate the light in order to enslave all creatures of the world. Shane Connor, an average young man, suddenly finds himself being trained as the new guardian. As he adapts to his new life among fantastic creatures, he goes on an adventurous quest with a legendary wizard for the ultimate weapon to use against the darkness, and faces murderous enemies like Rasputin, Morgana Le Fay, Krampus, and many more. Along with his best friend, Joe Gomez, Shane encounters politics, history, mysterious murders, 
new loves, his own hidden past, and racial dynamics among the fantasy races that turn out to be all too real. Their adventures reveal the true nature of the world and challenge the current state of how all races interact. This series expertly melds myths, legends, history, faiths, folklore, and secret societies into a fascinating, cohesive, comprehensive world of wonder and magic. From Atlantis to Olympus, from Hades to the moon, and from broomstick races to Christmas deadlines, join the new Santa Claus on his amazing journey. But beware, will Shane's quest achieve his ultimate goal of destroying the darkness and preserving the light of the world? Or is he actually playing right into a plot by dark forces that will result in his, and our, ultimate doom? So make your list and check it twice for the Guardian of Light book series. Download your audiobook or ebook today from Audible, Amazon, or iTunes. All right, Cora. Problem Child 2, on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate this movie? A literal 1 billion out of 10. That doesn't exist, so I guess we're just going to go with 10 out of 10. 100 out of 10. <laughs> we don't have 100 out of 10. Um, what was your favorite scene from this movie? Almost all the parts, but my, but my best one is... Uh, when the two problem tiles work together to go ahead and form peaceful ones with the mom and dad. So yeah. I'm do Who is your favorite character in this movie? Two problem tiles. No. Who is your favorite character? Junior or Trixie? Junior? Junior, still? Yeah. I thought you were going to like Trixie more. Can you stop? Why? Because it's creating noise. No. It's going to be no. easy to talk when no. you're making extra noise. No, why did he ask a question? What? Why did I think you were going to like Trixie? Because it was a girl. Just because other people are saying gender on me doesn't mean I will really like them. Oh. She was actually kind of funnier. Okay, I mean, yeah. she hardly was in the movie very much, but when she was, she was kind of funnier than Junior. She was kind of like, you know, when Junior went looking for her in the bathroom, and she, she thought she outsmarted Junior, but Junior really outsmarted her, but then she pulls out that big firecracker. Yeah, I was like, like, when I saw her, like, have it two or three times in this movie, I was like, oh my god, how many firecrackers does she have? And you actually saw her very early in the movie. She was the girl on the roller skates with the balloon that Junior popped the balloon. I was no wonder why she was, <coughs> she was bullying him. Yep. So anyways... Moving on to my score, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give this probably a 9. Wow. I've seen this movie a lot. It used to play on U USA Network all the time. This and Child's Play 2, those are like two movies that played all the time. My parents actually owned this one growing up. They didn't have the first one for some reason. So yeah, I've seen this movie probably way more than I've seen the first movie. And I do think uh, Amy Yesback is much prettier in this one than she was in the first one. But, uh... I would have to say this is probably my favorite out of the two. What do you think, Cora? Is this your favorite or is the first one better? Both of them? They're both great, but I think Problem Child 2 was the best one. You think that's the best one? Alright, well that's going to wrap up this review for Problem Child 2. 
We hope you enjoyed it. And if you have not, please consider checking out my book series, The Guardian of Light. Uh, Sorry. If you have not, also consider what, Cora? No, subscribe. Oh. Like, comment, subscribe. Alright, and we will see you all in the next review.